Welcome dear students to week 13. In this week we will start with the genetics material and uh, more specific we'll go in detail and depth starting with chapter 12 which is talking about uh, the work of George Man uh, Gregory Mendels and how he discovered the idea of genetic materials and how it transferred from parents to offspring. Now during this week we will talk about Mendelian inheritance uh, traits and non-Mendelian inheritance traits. We will go through the differences between meiosis and mitosis, how it's different from the differences between them and how do they affect the trait and the transport of the traits from parents to offspring. In this lesson, we will talk, I will explain about uh, the form where uh, an organism gets its unique characteristic from and explain how different forms of genes are distributed to the offspring. First of all, we will talk about the scientist who is behind all of this, which is uh, George or George Mendel. Mendel experiences, experiences the difference between the traits between parents and offspring by studying the beans and uh, the traits of uh, the differences between the color of the beans and how uh, the, uh, the shape of the bees difference, whether it was rigid or smooth. Mendel's experiment was about bees that are they use it or he used it as a model system. He started with the uh, true breeding plants, make take the traits and go uh, go with it. So when we talk about traits, traits mean that uh, that specific characteristic like colors, height, uh, length uh, of a specific individual, or in that case of this uh, bee. Hybrid, when we talk about hybrid, hybrid created from a cross true breeding individuals mean that it contains two characteristics from two different things. It's, it's the same as we when we talk about cars, like when you say we have a hybrid cars, that means that they use two methods of uh, fuel, which is gases and solar system. So this is a hybrid trait. When we talk about bee plants pollination, which is the cross pollination or a self pollination, which is the female parts with the male parts, either from the same plant or from uh, two different plants. Now, each plant has their own her own male and female uh, characteristic or uh, parts. This pollination occur whether it was a self pollination or a cross pollination. Cross pollination when the male parts go to other parts other female parts, self-pollination with them when the male and the female were from the same plants. From the most uh, types of characteristic for the bee that uh, Mendel study was the shape of uh, the seeds, the color of the seeds, the flower itself, whether about the color or the shape of the pods itself. And uh, also the, f uh, the flower position, how it was, if, if it was an axial or uh, terminal shape and the height, whether it was tall or short. The genes and the alleles, he, uh, the difference between the genes and the allele. Genes are the passed from one generation to the next generation, and it uh, gives the individual its characteristic. The allele is the different form of gene, whether it was round, wrinkled, or long, or short. This is the difference between them. Some alleles are dominant, some are uh, recessive, means that uh, dominant is the one that exhibit or f you can see in a trait. An organism with at least one dominant allele give you the dominant trait, or an organism that has a recessive allele which had, has only, or meaning that they absent the presence of the dominant allele. Hello. Mendel's uh, first generation crosses found that even if he had two of the same dominant, he has, he appeared, found or appeared the, uh, the rest of the traits. And then he go to the second generation, make the segregation, which is the separation of the allele during gamete formation, found in the second generation that he has a yellow uh, trait that the one that he did not begin or he did not found in the first generation. So when that when he tried with the parents, whether it was, uh, for example, the green with the yellow, the whole first generation was a green. That goes for the presence of the dominant allele. But when he goes to the second uh, generation, uh, there was uh, the yellow trait back to come again. This we call it B for the parents. F1 will be a first generation offspring, and the second one, which is the end results for it. So the 
proportion of the second generation of the offspring for having a short allele was only a quarter, which is one out of four. Whether the all tall, which is the dominant trait, has the three out of four or 75% of the total amount. This one, the formation of the gametes, uh, which is starting with the first generation and ending with the second generation. Thank you.